here to do my February empties. So I'll get down on the floor and I'll show you everything that I have. Um, I have less empties than I did last month, so it should be a little bit faster. So let's go. Oh, and sort. So, all sorted. Um, let's start off with skincare first, because that's always the biggest category. So, start off with the biggest thing. I have a Nivea Essentially Enriched Body Lotion. So, I finished up another body lotion. Um, this is huge, but I did go through it really fast. It's not my favorite um, body lotion. It was actually my husband's. Sorry. I'm trying to. Sorry, trying to center it. This was actually my husband's. He got it for Christmas from his mom, so my mother-in-law. Uh, it's fine. It's like that kind of medicinally no smell, but smell. Um, it's fine. It's not very rich. It, it says it's rich, but it's um, not as creamy as like a body cream from or it's not as rich as a body butter from Bath and Body Works and not as emollient and smooth to rub onto your skin as a body uh cream from Sephora or not from Sephora from Bath and Body Works what am I saying um wouldn't recommend this I have another one I'm going through right now I'm trying to get rid of all the body lotions in my house so just making my way through them uh, a little spoilery I have two lip empties for my lip project pan so maybe I'll try and put that up first but I have my Smith lip balm it's in a tin completely empty love this um, it's eight bucks and I totally would repurchase this it's really moisturizing you know, it does what a lip balm is supposed to do. No weird waxiness, nothing odd at all. So, love that. And I have an Agave Bite Lip Treatment. And it's completely empty. I even dug out the innards. I really, really like this. I did not think I was going to. I feel like I've tried some Bite stuff and I just really wasn't impressed. But this I really do like. Um, it's very moisturizing, very intense. But... It does leave kind of a film on like drinking glasses so it like leaves the lip ring that's not by this again I don't know if I would spend the $18 for the full size because this is just the mini uh, so $18 is kind of a lot of money for a lip balm especially when I like this $8 one just as well fresh ooh, soy face cleanser you can see that I love this I did not I thought it was so overhyped I thought this was so overhyped, but I really, really like this. I think I'll buy a full size once I'm through all my face washes, which won't be for a long time. So this is next on my to buy list. Really, really love this. I like that it didn't when it got into my eyes, it didn't burn. If it got into my mouth, it didn't taste disgusting or anything unpleasant. It got everything off. It's perfect, gentle cleanser. It's amazing. Love it. Next up. I would use this milk makeup cooling stick. It's cooling water and it's supposed to like depuff. So I would use it like under my eyes, did nothing. Like on my chin, if I felt like I was being puffy, did nothing. You know, it's just like, see, it's like, you can't get anything else in there. I find these, everything from milk makeup I have not liked. Not one product. I actually have a declutter, another milk makeup product. Don't like it. But I'm glad to have used this up. It did last a long time. I have a facial oil from Origins. It's uh, Plantscriptions Youth Renewing Facial Oil. I don't know. I feel like facial oils, as long as they're moisturizing and they're not clogging your pores and they're kind of just giving you a dewy look, is there anything different from them? Really? I, I feel like there's no point in spending a ton of money on them. 
I mean, this was fine, nice. I would use it again. I not I wouldn't run out and buy it. I would try and find something a little bit cheaper, I think. Uh, from Peter Thomas Froth is the Water Drenched Hyaluronic Cloud Cream, and it is hydration for up to 72 hours. I don't quite agree with that. I don't think it's the most hydrating thing, but it is nice. It's that like jelly kind of moisturizer. I love the gel type of moisturizers. That's kind of my thing. So I really do like this. I maybe would buy it. It is a lot of money. I think it's like $55 for the full size, but they do sell it at Ulta and maybe they would do it like those 50% off flash deals or they could do it on a weekly or yeah, weekly while at Sephora. I would probably, I may, I, I would maybe buy it. You know, if it was 50% off, not $55, so I liked it. But my love I found, which is much cheaper, and I would totally 100% buy, is the First A Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. This is like such a split product. Some people hate it or love it. Like there's, it's a split down in the middle, hate or love. I love, 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 love this. It gives such a beautiful sheen to the skin. It was like so moisturizing. I loved it. It was like the perfect amount of moisturize for my skin, which is a hard thing to find. You know, I don't know why it is, but love this. I wanna buy a full size one. I can't wait to go through the rest of mine. I actually have another one and I was gonna immediately go into it, but I thought, you know what? Why don't you wait until the summer? See how your skin likes it in the summer. But my winter skin loves this. So 110% will I be purchasing this. Next up is a product I've been working on for it feels like forever. It's never ending. It is the Drunk Elephant TLC Sukari Baby Facial. And it is a AHA and BHA. So you put this on once weekly. It smells kind of funny, like a very, I don't know, it reminds me of something, but I can't quite put my finger on what it reminds me of, the scent. Um, but you put this on once weekly, leave it on for 20 minutes, and you wash it off, and it tingles a little bit. Sometimes it tingles, sometimes it didn't. People swear by this. I am probably the only person that's like, eh, did it really do anything? I'm not crazy about it. I didn't see a ton of difference. Um, I definitely needed to moisturize really intensely after using it but I, don't, I didn't really see any difference with it. So would not be purchasing it. It's $80 for the full size, which I would say is worth it if you love it because this lasted me not even, maybe four, at least four months, four to five months. I mean, it lasted me a long time. I kept thinking it was done, but it would just keep coming out. And <laughs> when you don't really less skincare empty is this Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Mask. Um, let's see. Did I love this? These were fine. They're not crazy expensive. I thought they would be really expensive. It's $25 for six of them. So not crazy, crazy expensive. I don't know if I'd buy them again. They're not bad, eh, you know, kind of one of those middle of the road, not bad, not good, not I'm blowing my mind. So, sorry, had to grab my little notepad. I used up $122.14 worth of skincare products. Not as many as last month, which was $145. So like $23 less worth of product and actually a lot less amount, you know, I use three less products. So hopefully I'll keep, I mean, it's still not a bad number. I'm still using, gonna be using over a thousand dollars worth of skincare just in um, one year. That's still really great. I do go through, I mean, I'm going through these little moisturizers really fast, but they're super small. Uh, but I feel like face washes take so long to use. I mean, because you just need a teeny amount, and if you use too much, it just gets everywhere. Uh, I don't know, but I really have been crushing the lip balm department, <laughs> to say the least. But I hope that I'm going to be keep using as much products in this coming month. And a short little intermission. I know last month I said I was not going to be using as much hair care. I thought I used up, what, one product, I think? 
yeah, just one product of hair care. And I was like, I'm not going to be using hardly any hair care. You know, that's like so hard for me to get through. This month, I have four. So, using, uh, starting off, I have this L'Oreal Ever Strong Sulfate Free Fortify System Overnight Hair Repair Treatment. And it strengthens and actively restores bioceramide complex. Could that be any longer of a description name? Like, look at this. How much writing do you need? They no longer sell these. I have one that I'm using right now. Um, I would just put it on overnight um, to your dry hair. And I'd use it ugh, at least once a week. I'd try to use it, like, a couple times a week. I just, I don't know if it really did anything. I feel like it kind of made my hair grosser the next morning to, like, deal with. So, would not buy this again. I don't think it's really worth it. Um, when they ca first came out with this stuff, this like Ever Strong or the Sulfate Free System, I bought like a ton of the stuff. And I don't think that any of it's really worth it. <laughs> Moving on to another hair care um, helping with the strength product is the Aussie Split End Protector. And I really like this, but they no longer sell it. And I would just put this on um, freshly washed hair if it was a little bit drier. After to towel dry for a little bit, I put this on the, like, the bottom half of my hair. And I really did like this. I feel like I had less split ends since using this before. I used to find split ends all the time. I really don't think I have as much with this. So I wish that they still sold this, but I'll have to find something else. Um, I used up my, uh, what is this called? What is this called? Hairspray. I used up my hairspray. It is the Kendra Dry Oil Control Spray Medium Hold Nourishing Spray. It's Kendra 14. It says it tames frizz, but you're supposed to put it on like towel dry hair. What does it say? As a finisher. Oh yeah, as a styler. I don't really understand how you're supposed to use this. I just use it as a hairspray when I was curling my hair, which I haven't done in a few days. I just got my hair done, so it's like, it needs to be washed again. So I'll be using, I've been using something else. Um, don't think I'd buy this. I mean, it's $19, I think, for the full size. It was nice because it did hold the curl but it didn't get like crunchy. It was nice like the next day to, sorry, I see my dog. You wanna come in? You're gonna be able to see her, she's right down here. Oh, there she is, here she is. This is Daisy, you can't see her. Oh, she doesn't want to be introduced, she's running away. So anyways, um, Kendra Dry Shampoo, or Dry Oil Control Spray, it's, and okay so i liked that you could spray it on your hair and it would kind it would kind of hold the curl it wouldn't like be there forever it wouldn't be there in the next it would be slight there the next day but it wasn't the best for hold <laughs> that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> and um but it was nice because it didn't get sticky and gross for the next day for hair so that was good I don't know if I'd buy it again. I don't really have a Holy Grail um, hairspray. I've just been starting to use hairspray with like curling my hair. So we'll see. And also I have the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. Love this. Um, it smells pretty good. Um, but you know, you would just like spray it, wait 30 seconds and tossle it and put it in your hair. It did have a little bit of a white cast, but if you put it in, you, it would completely disappear. It definitely did help with the stay, um, getting rid of the dirt. Um, this is nice. I have another one. I feel like it's a bigger sized one, so I'll use that up. I have so many dry shampoos. I feel like that's all they give you in subscription boxes is dry shampoo because they know everyone needs it. Uh, so I have a bunch of them. Don't need to buy dry shampoo for a while. Then moving on to the most exciting section, yay, is makeup. I have one to clutter, so let's go through that first. And it is the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. I absolutely hate this. I was trying to use this up and pan it for my Golden Girls Project pan. 
but I just cannot stand it. It's like a primer, and look, you can even see, I don't know if you can see the little, like, it's like those, it balls up. It's so gross. It like balls up. You're supposed to like just put it on, but look, it's even balling up on my hand. I don't think you can see, but it just balls up your makeup. Uh, you could put it on top of makeup or underneath makeup as like a regular primer. All the time it would just ball up and just look disgusting and it's supposed to get rid of the appearance of pores. It did not do that. So I was like, oh, I'm going to wait until I use up like half of it and get rid of it. But the other day I was just using it and I was like, why? It's just making me so mad. So I used up hardly any of it. It was, so, it's like really stiff. Ugh. Ugh. I just hate it so much. It's like the worst. So I would recommend not buying this or getting a sample if you could. I don't know how they'd give you a sample, but I hate this. I hate this so much. I think it's awful, 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 awful. I'm so irritated. I spent, I think this is like 30 something dollars. Another milk break makeup product. I hate, 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 hate. I don't have a love-hate relationship with milk makeup products. I just hate, hate them all. <laughs> All right, moving on to nail polish. I used up last month my Sephora OPI, another little guy. Oh, you can see my little marks. Um, it's like pale pink. I love this pale pink color. It's like a perfect, like, nudey color for my skin. Love this. Unfortunately, they never put any of the names on them. So I have no idea what the color that is. And I also used up the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure in Guilty Pleasure. Just like gold. There's a little bit still in the bottom there, but it's gotten to the point this is so old that's just like sticky and it just does not go on anymore. And it's not enough for a man one manicure. So, and it, um, like when you paint a coat, it just is sticky forever. It doesn't ever like, solidifies and dries down so it's definitely have gone off so I mean I used it down to like almost here if you can't make it work anymore I'm not gonna force it and going on with the uh, nail polish vein I used up this karma naturals nail polish remover unscented with vitamin E oil and this is cruelty and vegan free which is nice it's a, um it's like so good for you. It's soybean oil based, derived from American farm crops, packaged in biodegradable and recyclable materials, non-toxic, non-carcinogenic. It's really supposed to be great for you. However, I noticed I use like, uh, as I've mentioned before, like an old towel or old washcloth to take um, nail polish off and just put, you know, the nail polish remover on it and use it to remove it but it never like dries down so if it would hit anything like it ruined the varnish on my table i mean it, they're not like crazy expensive tables but it like ate away at it and i've never had anything like that and it ate away at like if it i have like nail polish wheels and i'm sorry they're like right down here so i keep looking at them it ate away at like like the wheels i painted on them and it would eat away at the nail polish the towel so it kind it just never like settled down or like dried down so i wouldn't buy this again and i didn't buy it again so i think i might just go back to using acetone i know it's terrible but i just cannot find something that's working like if this is eating and through and ruining things in my house how is that helping me so, I'm having a lot of failed products. Kind of stinks, but it's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. I hate being so negative. Next up is another product I did not like. It is the Well People BioCorrect Multi Action Concealer. Um, I got this in a subscription box a while ago. It's just a concealer. I did not like it at all. They give you a ton in here, though. It just looks like underneath the eyes, it looks so heavy and crepey and just, just not a good look at all. Didn't like it. 
wouldn't recommend it. Um, something I didn't like totally hate was the Kat Von D Center Perfume. Obviously, I'm not supporting Kat Von D, but besides that, this perfume is just like a generic smelling perfume. There's nothing like layer. You know how like some perfumes really like layer a lot of scents, so it's like it smells like something familiar, but then there's like that twist. Doesn't have it. It's just kind of a basic, musky smelling perfume. Very, very basic. I mean, I guess it'd be nice if you wanted to layer perfumes, but you know, I used it up. Didn't hate it, so that was good. <laughs> I used up my It Cosmetic Bye Bye Redness um, concealer because I use it on my nose and like on my chin and all the writing has rubbed off. And there is still like a little bit in there, but it's like dried out and it just crumbles apart. I like this, however, it would look kind of funny. Like it would look like, um, kind of like a mask on my nose sometimes. And the color shade was like this one, I got it when there was no actual shades. Now I believe there is a light and a medium. But this would kind of be either too dark or too light, kind of like oxidized, but then it like unoxidized because then it would be lighter later on. It was very odd. So I did like it because it definitely covered up the redness on my nose and my chin. And I felt like if I put it like just in this like triangular region and right here and just put like a little bit of concealer, I would be fine for the day. So I probably will buy another one, but just not yet. I am using a green colored concealer that I don't like that. So if anyone has any recommendations of something that, you know, fixes redness, like intense redness on your nose and doesn't look horrible and weird. That's I guess the thing is it looked a little weird. It was easy to get carried away, you know? I never used a sponge to apply it. It just felt like it wasn't, it was like a thick product. I don't know, I feel like I didn't really quite learn how to use it correctly. And the last empty was in my Lip Service Project Pan. It is this Sephora um, Cream Lip Tint in the color 01. And I took the stopper off and everything. And there's like a tiny bit of product in the bottom. I mean, there is a hole from the tip, but I can't get it out anymore. And I'm sick of this color. Red, I'm so sick of wearing red. I focused really hard on this. This has so much product in it. It actually has, I think, out of the full huge tube, I think this is, um, what is it? It's $14 for the full size, and this is, this is like more than a quarter uh, amount of product that is in the full size. So you get a decent amount of product in this little thing. Um, I did like the formula. It wasn't too dry, but you had to be really careful of not applying too much because if you apply too much, it started crumbling and obviously that looked horrible. So, um, I obviously wouldn't buy this color and I don't need any more liquid lipsticks. I don't need any more liquid product or lip products at all. So I wouldn't buy it now, but maybe eventually I'd buy like a pink or a nude or something, you know, maybe a fun color because this didn't move. So that was really nice with a bright color, not moving on my lips because no one wants lip product all over your face or on your teeth. So those are all my empties. Oh, I should tell you the numbers. I did use up like 50% less, um, amount like price wise of makeup but total i use as last month total i used up 228 dollars and 71 cents product so i am more than halfway to a thousand dollars of product being used i think i'm gonna two thousand dollars is my goal maybe i can make it more i don't know but i feel like i'm really chugging away at using up products. I don't know how March is gonna be. Sometimes I feel like you really have tons and tons of empties all at the same time. But we shall see. And I can't wait to see you. Check out my previous video for um, all my empties in January. Cause I don't really like reuse the same type of products. 
I feel like I'm always experimenting and finding different products. Um, so I always have different empties every month. Looking for this perfect product, but I feel like it did find the perfect product with my moisturizer. So I'm happy about that. Um, so I can't wait to see you guys in my next video and talk to you guys soon. Bye.